In this video, we are going to perform flow assurance studies. For the pipeline to judge its performance, like the pipeline over time, will, will it be able to handle um, the fluid that is flowing through it or not? Okay, through the particular flow assurance calculation we are going to have in this course, we will cover the rate of corrosion due to the presence of carbon dioxide, erosion, a slug formation, hydrate formation, and wax deposition. Okay, so let's start. Maybe if we start with branch number one, double click here, you will have a flow assurance here. Okay, so from design, rating, work, work performance, now it's time for the flow assurance. Uh, for example, if I want to check the, the branch number one, the presence maybe of erosion. When does the erosion happen? The erosion happen if the fluid that you have has a higher velocity than the velocity of the design of the pipeline. So the velocity. Okay. So here we have er erosion velocity. This is the velocity that the pipeline can handle without causing any erosion. Uh, for the fluid velocity, this is the velocity. This must be less than the erosion velocity. Otherwise, the erosion will happen. So. Here you do erosion calculation like this and it will draw two lines. The first line is related to the fluid and second line is related to the erosion. If your line is below the red, the blue line is below the red line, which means you will have no erosion here. If it's above, you will have erosion. So we have to check the erosion for this, uh, this pipe segment and it's free of erosion. Okay, let's now go to branch number seven. Okay, this is our last branch. Flow assurance here, and again, we want to check the erosion. We want to know is the fluid velocity here will in the long term will affect the pipeline or not? Will will there will be um, erosion or something? Okay, so do erosion calculation. Now we have our fluid velocity is above the erosion velocity. So this means you are going to have erosion if the blue line the fluid velocity is higher than the erosion velocity you are going to have an um, a problem with the erosion okay so to solve this problem most of the time uh, we change the dimensions of the pipeline or you change the velocity so if you already install your pipeline and it's working you you don't have any option but to change the fluid velocity to avoid any erosion okay so now we have here illusion first uh, uh, illusion okay after that you have maybe as an exam you might be asked about is the velocity of the fluid in branch number seven is higher than the velocity of um, the erosion velocity this is true actually and this means you are going to have erosion okay so now we are going to check the slug for here branch number one flow assurance you choose whatever you want for hydrate it must include water okay uh, for slug here you are going to do slug calculation okay it will do the calculation and it appears that it doesn't have status it doesn't have any slug okay so from position this is the position zero which means the start of the pipeline and we have 367 76 uh, meter this is the length of the pipeline so through the length of the pipeline you don't have any slug also you can know because there are no informa information printed here okay during the calculation of the slug don't change any um, anything just to do the slug calculation okay for the second one we go for branch number seven branch number seven and slug calculation here we do the slug calculation it will do it actually it works very fast the status through the line you will have the slug formation okay so the, at the position zero this is the start of the wire line you will have slug at the end of the pipeline, at the length of 340, you will have a slug. Okay. Also here, you will find it at the position zero or at the beginning. Here you will have these are the information. Okay. So maybe this is the velocity here. 
and the, through the pipeline the velocity increases okay so from 16 to 17 okay the length of the slug this is something you, you always be asked about um, the position maybe at the middle here so this is almost the middle you will have a slug length of maybe 50 meters okay so we can remove this one or we can do the calculation okay this calculation is unimportant so is important for the flow assurance okay so now i want to find a stream or a branch with water so i as i remember this one contains water go the composition and we make sure that we have water so there is water here okay so double click on branch number three go to flow assurance and we enter the height rate okay here we want to check if there is a hydrate formation or not so we are going to do hydrate profile calculation and you will have two lines this is the temperature profile this is our temperature through our the pipeline this is the pipeline lens and this is the temperature and the hydrate formation temperature here so if your temperature is higher than the hydrate temperature the hydrate will not form if your temperature is below it you will have a hydrate okay so this means you are not going to have a hydrate formation okay another way we do is for a stream analysis so hydrate formation stream analysis and in this case we are going okay for gas uh, well number three will not form the hydrate formation it will not form okay so what are and here you have the performance this is the formation temperature and at the stream pressure okay and this is the pressure of the uh, formation of the hydrate okay what else we have let's check for branch number four something different like flow assurance and we have a hydrate we have done that okay wax deposition will be wax available or not okay it's done is a deposition calculation and there is no data here so there are no information available for a uh, wax deposition for carbon dioxide corrosion okay so we can double check here and you will find out the calculation dump okay so the corrosion rate will be here and we didn't have any uh, corrosion inhibitor we didn't add anyone so before doing the carbon dioxide corrosion always make sure you have carbon dioxide in the composition okay so this is what we need to know about the flow assurance and also it's important to know during the exam if you are asked this is i'm talking about the expert exam or also the user exam if you are asked let's open this one and from the design you know the inlet and the outlet here from the parameter you know the phases and also you know the correlation that you are using for the duty you will find it from this side it's important to know the performance because as this is the, the performance as this is the distance and this is the elevation this is the length and this is the elevation okay also the flow assurance here maybe the erosion do the erosion and you will find that this is the erosion velocity is much higher so no erosion will happen here so that's all about the flow assurance